Hi there, and welcome to another Diary of a What Noob with me, Dwybo. It's Christmas. Santa's very kindly given me some gold. So we've made use of that, and we've bought ourselves some premium account on a discount because of the Christmas special, and some extra garage slots. The first two of those we filled up with the Mark I Cruiser and the Mark III from the British Tier 2s. That means we can have a quick play through them, make the most of the times 5 XP bonus we're getting at the moment for a first victory, and hopefully show you a large variety of tanks in not too many days. So, starting with the Cruiser Mark 1. I'm running it fully stock, as most people would. These radios are already researched from me because of pushing up the other British line, but we'll play it directly basic. We won't use any free XP to upgrade anything and we'll use the stock gun. Fast rate of fire, decent enough penetration, 64mm for a tier 2 tank, but not much damage, not particularly accurate either, and a very slow aim time. So I'm guessing what with that and our bog standard 50% crew, we're going to have to get in there reasonably close, try and make use of our rate of fire, and then get out again. That won't be easy with a tier 1 engine, and tier 2 tracks. Traverse speed isn't too bad at 30 degrees. Engine power is pretty weak. And that's that's not too bad. I suppose it's what, 9 horsepower per tonne or something like that. We won't kit it up with the binoculars and camo net because how many tier 2 players would do that? We may put them on later on and see how it goes. So, no armour to speak of reasonable penetration, poor damage, good rate of fire, poor accuracy. With that in mind, let's see how it goes. So, Malinovka, a map we know and love. Normally I'd be looking to stay and snipe a bit on this from the defensive line, but with this gun I think it's going to be like lobbing very inaccurate rocks at a very small fly. So we're not going to do that. Instead, we'll probably make use of what little speed we have and take a push up to the hill if anyone comes with. If nobody comes with, then we'll stop on that little bushy area on, what's that, E8, and see if we can spot them coming over in that direction. Again, 50% commander, not much chance, but Probably better use of our tank than just sitting here and missing everything we see. Let's get this show on the road. As you can see, it turns slowly. Again, that's the stock engine and a poor driver. Once we get it going downhill, what's it going to be like? Uh, see, we're picking up 33, 35 going downhill, and it's not a steep hill. So it's got the speed 40. It's definitely got the speed if we get the chance to make use of it. We'll let that cruiser go past. No point in picking up any ramming damage from our own team. And as soon as we hit an uphill bit, it slows right down. So we'll have to bear that in mind. No escaping uphills because we just haven't got the engine power. That BT-2 streaking ahead of us. Look at that. 3-4 metres a second. So, because others are pushing, you can see how that slightly boggy bit of ground slows us down even more. So again, that's something else to watch out for. Ground changes as we drive. BT2's pushed straight through the village. There's a cruiser going up the far side of the hill. Cruiser that's already taken some damage. And a mate. I haven't checked the gun depression on this. Let's have a quick look. Oh, look at that. That's a lot of... We can almost shoot our own hull. Which is worrying. We'll have to watch out for that. So, we'll push on up the hill. These 1E6s I haven't looked at yet. I think they were the ones that 
were given away free at Christmas. So I've actually got one in my garage, but I haven't played it. These guys are going to crush that M2, and I am not going to get there in time to help. So, in fact, I'm going to back off a bit. Maybe put in a shot at him, even though we've got not much chance. <laughs> not much chance, he said. Luck boxing and easy damage. So what we're just going to do is pull back. When they get to us, they are going to slaughter us. And that's what, about 300 metres to that downslope at the moment, so we probably can't see them even if they come. So we're going to drop back until we're in range of this PZ-2. And our team is 5-1 down. That's not a good start, really, is it? He's gone behind a slope, so I have to wait for him to come out. Looks like that one went right through. Missed him there, which is a shame, because he's almost dead. Hopefully the PZ2 will take him. So, that's him gone, but he's got friends. There's a tree down over there. And there's one of the friends. You could really do with getting over there and helping him. We finished him off. That'll do for now. That was a miss. Damn, 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 damn. Go, cool. take far from the side. Need to get away. Lost our gunner, which is going to make life even more difficult. Right, we are actually bouncing a few shots. Oh, he's got a sort of auto cannon -y thing there. He should have polished me off a lot quicker. I'm guessing he's only had one shell left after that first shot. Let's see how this PZ2 is doing. Uh, I think that's going to be him. He's going to have trouble winning the game for us on his own, but he's doing a good job so far with his three kills. And there's that E6 that killed me, I think, so some revenge would be nice. Oh, OK, the E6 doesn't have a lot of armour. That's very nice from him. But he has definitely run out. We must have had some team kills or suicides as well. Because that is not good. And there goes the T-18. This is not good. 6-12. Which if it hadn't been for Papa would have been even worse. We'll see if he picks up any defence points. So, we were slow to get into position because of the stock engine and tracks. When we got there, the gun was remarkably accurate, far more accurate than I thought it was going to be. I think I'm not going to trust in that, and we're going to put that down as a couple of lucky shots, rather than anything I actually did. But we did a little bit of damage, which is more than the rest of our team seem to have done. He's bounced another shot. Oh, unlucky. And while we've hideously lost, I think we can be relatively pleased with our own performance. It wasn't great, but considering what we had, yeah, it wasn't great. But for a very stock tank, that's not too bad at all. And we made a slight profit, which would have been a lot less if we hadn't been on premium. So more profit is more chance to upgrade things. We've 181 on there, so we'll just upgrade the tracks and the engine, play a few more games and hopefully come back with the upgraded gun. All we need is one decent win and we've got that. So, I'll see you in a bit. Right, so now we're going to have a look at the Cruiser Mark III. Same rules as last time. We've 
got an extra radio researched, but we're not going to fit that. We'll play it completely as stock. We've got the tracks. It's got a better engine in this one by default. So we're hoping it'll actually be faster. Stock turret. We could mount this gun, but that actually comes from when I did the Vickers Mark III. And we're saying that people won't have may not have played that yet. So we're going to play it completely stock, which means taking this gun with 122 rounds per minute, low-ish penetration and very poor damage per shell, but it's going to be sort of auto cannony, and we'll be able to peck away. Very poor accuracy though, so ideally we want to get in close. That will be helped by this not too bad power to weight ratio and speed on here. Traverse speed for the hull isn't brilliant, but the turret's very good at 46. Again, all those will be knocked back a bit by us only having a 50% brand new crew in there. We'll see how it goes. Again, I'm expecting that I'm going to be pretty support rolly here. We're going to have to get in close to shoot very much. Not my prefer. Ah, yes, there you go. Auto cannon. You can tell by all the clip down here. Not my preferred play style as you all know, but we'll see how it goes. A uh, couple of tank destroyers on the enemy team, a couple of me which are probably going to be a lot better than me, and a bunch of these T1E6s again which we met in the last game, the new Christmas gift tank. So since I'm facing that way, I think we're going to be going up the hill and seeing what we can do there. We'll get overtaken by everyone else, turn up just in time to mop up the stragglers, scrape a few XP and credits from the remains. That's the plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. This is taking a century to reload this gun. It's going to be in the 23, 24 second area, isn't it? That's 20. Yeah. Oh, and slow to go around that corner as well. Need to watch for that. It's decent top speed, but it's still turning like a bus. But, again, good speed up the hill, 20. That's way, way faster than the E1 we were playing. E1, Mark 3, Mark 1, Mark 1. And again, we're not going to get around that corner without feather in the throttle for a moment. So we'll get around there. So we have got, again, good gun depression. So gun depression, high rate of fire. We then up, we'll be able to pop, spam and drop. Let these guys light up whoever's there first. There's a Mark III coming over the hill. We're just going to try and... Nadge over the top here. Ready? Here we go. Two, three, four. Enemy vehicle okay, so that's the way to do it. And we'll hit a C and reload the clip. And back off while we wait. Well, that's not a bad start. And a little bit of auto aim there, for which I apologise. But hey, it's there. Why not use it? We still haven't loaded yet. Permission to engage. Ah, he's dropped below the hill line. Let's try and get round and up to him. He's still there. Are we going to snap? We are going to snap. Just wait for the circle to close. We're auto aiming again. We're out. Oh, and we did not retreat fast enough from that. Um, I think he's wiped out our blokes that were around the corner as well. Yeah, there he is. There's the PZ2. So we need to get right away from him. He's going to play the same game as me, probably, and come... Oh, oh he's not even going to wait that long. I think it'll be... It'll take us longer to turn round and run than it will to actually just hit the reverse. But we're going to relocate. This is 
discretion and valour. We're 10-4 up. I can save my repair bill. Those two coming down over the hill aren't going to make a blind bit of difference, especially since one of them's still staying up there. We'll see if we can get on the back of this 18 before it... No, it's not. So while we could... What we'll do, we'll wait up here just in case he comes screaming around the corner. And if he does, we'll put some fire into him. And that's game... Oh, you can't believe people just ram you like that. Costing me loads of credits. So there we are. Auto cannon is the one from the tier 1, I guess. Puts in a lot of fire very quickly. On those lightly armoured targets, very good. Very good indeed. We managed to poke out 267 points of damage in two volleys which is almost twice our own hit points and we didn't take any damage in return just a bit of track damage and then we rammed somebody actually that ramming is probably included in that isn't it let's have a look uh, no the cruiser 3 was the one we killed t26 was the one we didn't so our ramming damage isn't included there how did we do fourth which, for a stock tank, and considering I only had time to shoot at two opponents, although, to be fair, I did run away from one of them, that's not too shabby. Because of the times five, we picked up a whole bunch of XP, and that's going to allow us to research the whole thing through, and possibly even be straight on to the next tank. So, there it is, a very, very brief look at the Cruiser Mark III. It's got the speed, when stock, it's got the speed to get to places, even if it hasn't got the agility to take all the corners as fast as you'd like. And it can lay down a lot of fire into lightly armoured targets, even with a poor crew. Just remember, you've got a big reload time, and you need to have somewhere you can back away and hide for 20 plus seconds if they come after you. So that's it for this episode. Hope you enjoyed it. I'll catch you later. Tara. up.